Zambia's president-elect Takainde Hichilema beat incumbent Edgar Lungu in a landslide vote last week. Let's talk about what this means for Zambia going forward. I'm joined by political analyst Zainab Mohammed from NKC African Economics in Cape Town. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. So the incoming president, very popular with uh, younger people. What were his main election promises? Good evening, Sally. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, one of his main promises was that he will um, get, he will organize a deal with the IMF to restructure Zambia's debt. Um, as we know, Zambia defaulted on its on a eurobond payment last year in November, making it the first um, country to default during the COVID nineteen pandemic. Um, it is estimated that the country is seeking to restructure about thirteen billion dollars of debt. Um, and as a as a successful private sector executive, Michelema has got the has got the, the trust of creditors that he would come to an amicable deal. Um, he's also promised that he will grow the economy by ten percent within five years. So there are a lot of promises on the economic front, um, as well as also for the restoration of democracy. He has promised that he will um, reopen Crime TV, which is an independent television um, broadcasting company that was closed under President Lungu, um, the former president. Yeah. We, we did see uh, Edgar Lungu impose a media blackout for some of uh, the election day last week. How committed then is the new president to freedom of speech? Tell us a little bit more about this television station and why it's critical. Um, so Crown TV is the, one of the largest independent broadcasting networks in Zambia. Um, and this is important for freedom of speech. So under Lungu, we saw a backtrack in, in um, freedom of speech. Um, he cracked down on the opposition as well as on, on journalists and Crown TV was one of his major targets. Um, and they couldn't operate under him, meaning that there was no journalism that could speak out against the government. Um, and Hichilema um, immediately, actually the same day when they announced his victory, he hinted that he will reopen Crime TV, um, which is, it is positive for the restoration of, of democracy in Zambia, which has been deteriorating under Lungu for the past six years. He, he's a very interesting character, the incoming president. He's a self-made man. He, he describes himself as a, as a cattle boy. Um, he has had quite a tough road to becoming Zambian president. He's made a number of attempts uh, to become president. And he's faced quite a lot of challenges being imprisoned. Tell us a little bit more about his journey to becoming president and the personality of the man. Um, so uh, this is the sixth time that he's run for the presidency, so <laughs> he's quite perseverant. Um, he is a private sector executive. He's a former CEO of an accounting firm. He is an economy, economist by profession. So he's quite trusted um, that he will fix the Zambian economy. Um, and yeah, so he was arrested in 2017 when he did not move out of the way for the former President Lungu's convoy. Um, and he spent about four months in prison and his imprisonment got massive international um, attention. There were protests even in the UK um, for his release. So this actually helped him to, to gain a lot of support um, as people realize that he's be become a main target of Lungu. Um, over the past decade, um, he, he started off small um, with around less than 20% of the votes um, up until 2015 when him and Lungu went head to head. That was when he really started coming up as, as Lungu's main rival. Um, and uh, ever since then, the two have, have um, no opposition figure has got more than 2% of the votes. Um, they've dominated the political sphere in Zambia. Do you think it's going to be smooth fr from here? And, and the reason I ask that is that Edgar Lungu did reluctantly concede the elections on Monday, but he has also said that he, he isn't happy with certain aspects of the poll. Is there any chance that Edgar Lungu, uh, whose, um, whose regime has been described, in fact, by the incoming president as a brutal regime, is he going to go quietly? Um, he initially 
he claimed that the elections were not free and fair. Um, he said that he, he named some provinces where um, acts of violence made it unfair. Um, but on Monday, he, he um, in a televised address, he said that he will peacefully, um, he, he, he remains committed to a peaceful transition of power. And so did his PF party. So I'm actually going to trust him on this one. Although he did seem, him and his um, associates seemed very really determined to reap the benefits of the nationalism tendencies that we've been seeing over the past five years. Um, but Zambia is a relatively stable democracy, and we've seen a few transi transitions of power since um, demo democracy was reintroduced um, in the 1990s. So I, at the moment, I trust that, that um, there won't be a challenge. And um, the only problems that I, that I see is that supporters are actually engaging in um, violent acts against um, against party houses and um, damaging property. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that was political analyst Zainab Mohammed at NKC African Economics talking to us about the campaign promises made by the new Zambian president. Uh, and many of them are economic and there are going to be some challenges uh, for that country.